Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. This video is going to be all about um, how to make katanas like this. It's very simple design. It looks really nice. It's effective for like low poly games and stuff like that. I'm going to show you initially how to make this kind of a uh, model and it's really, really simple. So yeah, um, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in joining my community, feel free to join the Discord server. Link is at the top of the description below. If you want to show off your creations, you know, throw me some suggestions in here. There's also free resources and stuff like that. If you just want to come in and, you know, uh, use some of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, link is in the description. Okay, so as you can see, this model is fairly simple. Um, it uses some metallic materials and stuff like that to uh, to make it look a lot nicer, obviously. But, um, yeah, this video is going to be like a premise on how to create these kind of katanas. You can always... Um, go ahead and throw extra detail anything on the handle or you want to curve the blade or anything like that it's up to you usually katanas I think I'm uh, are pretty curved so you know you can kind of curve it if you want in your uh, in your version and uh, yeah let's get uh, into making it just a heads up um, before I get into this uh, my keybinds are down here so whatever I'm pressing you can see I'm left clicking right clicking you can see it down here so if I forget forget to mention anything or anything like that just look down there and you'll see what I'm um, pressing but uh, yeah to begin with the uh, with the actual katana itself you want to probably start with a handle first now, the handle is pretty simple to make you kind of just um, add mesh cylinder go for um, a low amount of vertices you can go for a higher amount if you want to make a uh, uh, a high poly katana but it's not really necessary Especially for Roblox, you want to keep stuff low poly, preferably, really. And, um, yeah, the first thing you want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and hide this real quick. And is you want to squeeze it in. So to do that, you press S and then Y and just bring it in like this. Because katana handles usually are kind of like this squashed cylinder shape. And then you want to go ahead and make it as big as you want. And that's basically the uh, all you need for the handle, really. And then you can kind of uh, control C, control V, copy and paste it, drag it up. I hold control to uh, move it in increments, just as a heads up. And then I go into edit mode by pressing tab. You hold Z to go into uh, wireframe mode, by the way. And then I select the top face. Make sure this is selected, or you press three, and you kind of bring it down. To roughly one of these uh, squares and then you want to uh, kind of extend outwards like this and then just bring it out like that so that's kind of like this part of the uh, the katana here you want to bring it out kind of a decent amount now the next thing you want to do for the katana is you want to add the uh, uh, actually you want to add the uh, the bottom the bottom part here because uh, as you can see kind of uh, curves downwards so to do this you press I and then bring it in a little bit and then move it down and then press I again move it in and do that and you can bring that up a little bit if you want I also press W double tap G to move it along the uh, edges as well uh, now to add these little small details here what I do is I click on this I press ctrl R use the mouse wheel to uh, get two loop cuts because you're gonna need um, two loop cuts basically and then I press S to scale and then Z to move them up and down and then basically all I do is I press 3 to select faces hold left alt and select this face and it kind of selects all of them and then I press E to extrude and bring it out like this although the more preferred method is selecting this and probably this press E to extrude and then bring it in I press S to scale X and Z to uh, bring in like this and then to round this off, I'm just going to select the edge and do that. 
So now you have the main premise of the uh, kind of like the katana handle. Now if I was to check it next to this one, they're roughly like the same size, similar shapes and all that kind of stuff. They're really easy to, uh, you know, uh, recreate and all that kind of stuff. So um, now that we have that, you want to go ahead and separate um, this top bit and this bottom bit from the actual handle. As you can see here, I uh, have gold on these two and then this part is black. I also copied the uh, uh, this part over here just because it was a little bit more uh, more thinner. Just make sure this part isn't too uh, thick because before I think I had it roughly like here or a little bit lower like that and it's a little bit too thick you kind of want to move it down like that. Now to separate these parts all you want to do is press 3 to select faces you want to go into wireframe mode so hold Z and then go over here to wireframe mode and then let go of Z select this and then hold shift and select this and then press P and then press selection so now this has separated them so if I go ahead and apply this gold material now as you can see I have the handle here I'm gonna show you guys how to add materials and stuff in a second um, but yeah let's go on to the uh, actual blade as for the blade, it's uh, pretty simple uh, yet again. All you want to do is add mesh cube. Going to bring it up here. I'm going to press S and Y. Just bring it in here. The blades are usually quite thin. But I'm pretty sure the back is flat. And the front is sharp for a katana anyways. So I'm going to select the top face. I'm going to lock into the Y axis here. I'm just going to bring it up roughly to about here. Now what you want to do is you want to press Control R and add a loop cut down the middle here. And now if you select these two vertices here, make sure you have this button up here selected. And if you double tap G and then bring it in, we'll kind of combine it here. So I'm going to add a loop cut down the middle. And then select these two vertices here and bring it in. As you can see, it sharpens the end of the uh, blade. So if I do it on the, this side as well, there's many different methods you can do this, but this is pretty quick, so I tend to use this. Double tap G, bring it in, and make sure, make sure you have this button pressed, because what that does is if you uh, have overlapping vertices like this, so this vertex is going to go inside that one. It will join them together automatically. So it's very handy to have if you have overlapping vertices and stuff like that. So that's the main part of the um, the actual blade done. You can just lift these up here. And then kind of create more of a gradual thing here. And then you kind of create the uh, the top of the blade here. Obviously this doesn't look great because I'm kind of rushing it, but you get the idea. Okay, so the next thing I want to mention is um, press tab to go into edit mode and then press A to select all of them. Go face, shade smooth. In fact, do it with all, all of them. So select them all, face, shade smooth. And then what you want to do is go into here, object data properties. Go into normals and then click auto smooth. Select them all individually. Or you can keep it uh, without the auto smooth depending on what kind of uh, game you're making. Uh, or what kind of style you want to use. Now as you can see you kind of have the blade here. I'm going to uh, apply this metal material here. And there you go. That's practically the blade. So to add these little... Uh, indents here it's pretty simple I'll show you that right now so you want to select the uh, the blade press tab to go in data mode and uh, press K to open your knife tool as you can see it kind of selects here at uh, the end of the blade here you want to kind of cut this little triangle shape this side and then you want to do the same thing on the other side like so 
this is a good way to add uh, stuff like damage and all that kind of stuff into the blade. You can kind of cut it out here. And then if you press 2 to select edges, select these two edges, and then select these three edges. And it adds an indent into the blade. You can add as many of these as you want. Um, but obviously keep it limited or else if you add too many it's going to look a little bit uh, stupid and unrealistic. Okay, so the final thing to do is apply materials. Obviously I've already applied my materials. But um, I'm going to go ahead and remove them and then I'll show you how to how I made these materials. Okay, so I've removed all the materials. So to check your materials you hold Z and then go material preview. As you can see this blade has materials, this one doesn't as it's all kind of uh, white. Now to add your materials you click on that specific object you go into this little red uh, circle here or sphere and then you want to add new and that adds a material you can name this whatever you want I can like name this blade for example and then now you can change all the properties down here so base like a blade you want to go for like a dark gray and then now you can edit the properties so I want to remove the roughness a little bit and I'm gonna go a little bit on the uh, the metallic actually you can blend the roughness with the metallic and now it kind of adds a, a metal look to the blade. You don't even need to do that much uh, to it really. And now you can mess with all these. I wouldn't recommend messing with too many of these. The metallic and roughness and specular and stuff like that is the main ones you want to mess with really. And now you do the same method with the, uh, the rest of these. You can go new. I can name this. I don't even know what you call these but uh, I'll just name it gold part. You can change this color to like a goldish color or like an orangey color and then again you want to increase the the metallic value and lower the uh, roughness and now if you select these and you want to add the same material as that one you just click this little dot here and then as you can see I named it gold part so I can put that there and now you have the uh, the gold part and then I'm going to quickly make this, so you just press uh, new, name it handle, and then I want to go for like a dark handle here with max roughness. And as you can see that's basically how you make a uh, very quick and basic katana, but you can develop this really really easily. You can add more detail to the handle, more detail to this part you know whatever you want to do it's all up to your imagination and that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on and i'll see you in the next one peace